Should be good. Should be good. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. This feels right already. Hi. I will f murder you. <laughs> light, go over here. It gets up and walks. <laughs> it's my protection light. I love it. Eli, Eli's the one like, can't see porn on the podcast. First five seconds. I will f***ing murder you. <laughs> That's okay, right? Or I, I, Dude, I'm not the guy to ask about this shit anymore. <laughs> you cross the, Why I mean, not? You don't even know when you're crossing a line anymore. You're yeah. just like, I'm just here. I feel like you did know when you did it anyway. I, I totally <laughs> did. Like, I was the kid you told, like, don't touch that stove. It's hot. And you're like, <laughs> Move Ow! your hand! <laughs> Brain is like, it's just cooking. Why Flip it, it over, like medium well. <laughs> Why does oh, it smell like burnt bologna in here? That's a poor Mexican joke. Mm. So, oh, yeah, ready? Sorry. Oh, everyone already popped theirs. Oh, I need one. Oh, wait, we got new ones. Um, Dude, you're going liquid death? Whoa, calm down, bro. Hey, if look, I'll, t I'll tell you why I'm drinking water right now. Do you want one of these? Oh, yeah. Is it my fault? Yeah, you want one of these two? Oh, no. Why? Dude, this is just water. This is it's water. literally this is water. Hydra oh, okay. Can't do it. Why? It is sparkling this water. This is called hair of the dog. Are we doing this? Is this how the podcast is starting? This is solo energy right I now. I thought like we were I talking about poor Mexicans, but I that's know. good. <laughs> I thank you for yeah, getting us wanna, back on track. Yeah, dude, they, put like, they put mayonnaise and corn and shit, and, you know, then it's a meal. The oh. bitch-ass electrician is what we're calling you for now. <laughs> 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 Peer pressure works on him. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> One more. No, I shouldn't, Brent. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, God. I had some spray on it. <laughs> I mm. know. Those are the fun ones. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Unsubscribe podcasts here. Today, I'm joined by... Fat Hell, the fat electrician, <laughs> Eli Double Tap, and Brandon Berberba. Have you ever considered maybe that's why you don't enjoy them? Enjoy what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he chugged it and crushed it. I know, I, I saw it. <laughs> Where did it go? I like you treating Batty how he treats his own house. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Say hi to Eli. It's racially ambiguous, Batty. That guy's fucking ridiculous, Donut. Sky, welcome to unsubscribe. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for watching the unsubscribe podcast. Um, make sure wherever you're listening or watching, whether it's on YouTube, uh, Castro, Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, Podbean, Stitcher, or that's all of them. Please leave a comment, uh, uh, like it, thumbs up it, give it a rating of five stars, whatever you can do. It helps the podcast out immensely. And Donut and Eli will be very happy if you do that. And we want to make Donut and Eli happy today. Yeah. For five stars on everything and a comment if there is possible, because we need to be at the top. Donut, say something come. motivating. And that's where the, you come, that is. Come subscribe. Dude, you fucking tank that thing. Hi, you everyone. Should, you should have seen me tanking them yesterday at the bar out of a glass, not out of a can. You were tuckered out last night, those pictures. Oh, that well, was, we staged those, those, those were staged. That was at like mm -hmm. he has a, he has a magic That was one definitely too. not staged. That was 100% staged. It was totally no. staged. It yeah, was for the sure AT4 staged. photos, Fluck yeah. will get those to you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll get you that. We were actually sober at the time, more or less. Ish. More or less. What time How, did alcohol I had, hit? Well, I started drinking these... The day prior, I know I all drank of a lot them. of those during that podcast. Which I didn't lattes. realize. Yeah. Uh, what What do we have? What was the count at the end there? Uh, all, of them. All, <laughs> all of them. Six. Yeah. We had six bush lattes. Before. I didn't even realize till I was like <laughs> on the fifth bush latte. It's before a lunch. Fancy bush. I, I put. I, I put, hold your pinky out. <laughs> I put that can down to bat. He's like, Jesus Christ! And I looked down. I was like, Is that all me? And he goes, Yeah. And then I just had that like pan in moment where I'm like, oh fuck, I'm drunk. It's like the Jaws, the Jaws push bowl. Ooh, like, oh fuck. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Yeah, so drunk me decides to go out to dinner with these two and then I went out to the bar with Brandon and uh, he's like, we gotta stop by my house real quick, I gotta grab something. That something was an AT4. Uh, rocket <laughs> missile launcher. <laughs> so we were helping Zeus with one of his music videos, yeah. and uh, he well, so here's <laughs> it's at a bar, right? And he had permission. You know, they were they were using it as a film set for the music video, and the way it was pitched to me was this was going to be like closed set, and we've got you know uh, the whole room, we've got extras, whatever. This is an active goddamn bar, like this is a flat out nightclub that people are in and drinking 
and we're just walking in the front door with a fucking AT4, and they're like, yeah, just like try to hold it down a little bit so people don't freak no. the fuck out. Nah, it's, 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 not it's only this big. That went the, away the, real quick. The owner quick. of the bar <laughs> said, yeah, that's fine. Just don't shoot it in here. <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Dude, the amount of people, the amount of people who thought it was loaded. Like, it's be, alarming. As my witness, more than half. It, oh, for sure. The At boom. least 20 people. Is it loaded? Is it loaded? Like, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going to kill everyone. So I'm, I'm. Yeah, but like tinnitus? Then? Yeah. And the ones I don't kill, you're all going to have permanent tinnitus and crippling TBIs. <laughs> you want shots? You want shots? Thank God the AT4 is super accurate. I do. Oh, yeah. Well, I t if you're in a fucking like 400 square foot room, it's not bad. You don't need accuracy. <laughs> God bless that weapon platform. It's just open yeah, leaf. So. I love this is what you aim with on that. It's like, it's close enough. <laughs> Dude, Shoot. I love the Neanderthal instructions they put on the sides of those launchers. Where it's like, stationary target, put it in the middle. Moving slow, put it over there. Moving fast, put it over there. Like, <laughs> and it's the worst we... And I love it's like a tugboat, too, in the fucking photo. Like, an outline tugboat. Like, what the fuck do you think you're shooting at with this thing? Like, you, not a tank. Not a tank. No, no. You're, it's just like a tugboat. And like then a civilian tugboat. <laughs> and that... Have you ever fired one? No, oh, God, no. Oh, damn. That wherever you point that, it's still not going to go where you want. It's just a general area. We... You never initiate an ambush with those. But they weigh a lot, so we initiate ambushes with them. Because <laughs> nice. it gets... Because you're not carrying that whole fucking thing back. And I remember it was a stationary car with dudes like coming back and forth in the load of illegal weapons and shit. And we're like, start it up. It's like, well, it's gone. We missed that God. all together. <laughs> Get the guns going. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Well, I, I don't like the term illegal guns. I prefer undocumented yeah, firearms. Undocumented. It's <laughs> all Iraqi. Guns. Like to be. Uh, you know, politically correct about it. Yeah, build the wall, am I right? Yeah. yeah. As... Cody, cut it! Get down! Get down! Ah! Pull him down! We just have you tied down to just, the floor. The, He's just got ankle weights from now on. The nonchalant you get out of Brandon doing wild shit, like walking up to a nightclub with an AT4, being like a normal, like, ish person. Like, I'm just an electrician from Iowa, and now... I'm in Texas, and he's got a fucking bazooka, and we're walking through a parking lot, and I'm like, I'm gonna get fucking arrested. And he's like, dude, there's nothing in it. It's completely illegal. It's not even... A he's like, it's literally just an aluminum tube. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. You, you know that. No one else even <laughs> Bro. <laughs> bro. Like, I, I, I saw what the Bush administration would do over aluminum tubes. I don't want to know what the San Antonio <laughs> PD is going to do to my ass. Like, <laughs> we made you very rich that year. Like, oh. Dude, I, I, I forget about this shit until like somebody like you is just like, you know, this is like fucking insane. You know, right? this is not normal, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess not. It'll be fine. We'll be good. We'll be good. We got the permission of most everyone involved. We got the permission of nobody with authority. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a closed set. Everything will be fine. You just show up at 11. Oh, this looks super active right now. Yeah. Uh, this closed set has a lot of screaming women running away. <laughs> Is that like Isn't on it, purpose or like what's the? Is someone to yell cut? To no. Be, to okay. be fair, I I ID them, so they were all of age. That, so that was the funny <laughs> part too. We were doing a bit that was outside of the club. Like the whole bit is like me walking in with the AT4, and he's the bouncer, which you look like a fucking bouncer because you're built, built like a brick like shit a house. Yeah. <laughs> I look like I look like I'm opening up a Ninja Turtle movie at the beginning before the main bad guys re revealed himself. Where they're just like half ass beat me up while they're eating pizza. I'm like anonymous anonymous henchman number three. <laughs> but you're like you're leaned against the wall and he's actively IDing people as they're walking in. Like it's becoming the running joke. He's just like, ma'am, ID. And like that one chick was like, like fucking nineteen twenty. You're just like you're not. You were old enough, you were born in but... two thousand three. You're not twenty one. And she just like looks at me and I'm like. Whatever. <laughs> He's like, literally not my job. Uh, go, go right in. I have no affiliation here. Just Beyond people. Be well, there's like a set in front of us too with like, there's like fucking boom lights and shit. And like, there's people forming a line because they don't want to walk through the set. So I'm like waving people through and like, then they pull their ID out and I ID them and they walk in. <laughs> and just, you're playing the part no matter what. And I was you're like, a method I wonder, actor. I wonder how much money I could be making in cover charges right now. <laughs> oh, God. I went out to the bar and made 300 bucks. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this is where my memory gets a little hazy. That chick tried to stab me, right? Oh, what? God. Yeah. So what in, the in, fuck in, happened in last the bit, night? So I was, I, was a, I was a bouncer and Brandon walking in with a fucking bazooka over his shoulder. And I was like, 
hold up, and I like give him the pat down while he's still holding a bazooka. Like over the and shoulder. I, like, over the shoulder, down the legs, and I reach up and I grab his dick. We had to do like five takes. So I've Oh, he, he he could probably draw you a pretty accurate diagram of my dick by now. Yeah, probably. It's like um, a grail to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, I, I pulled out his knife and was like, Second Amendment doesn't cover knives, dude. Just, just get it back for me when you leave. And I let him in with the AT4. <laughs> and then Fuck who tried yeah. to stab you? Wait, no, this the, chick like walks up and she like, I don't even remember how that was initiated, but we were talking to her. She's like, oh, you want to see a trick with a knife? And then she like, just, she's like, okay, I can show you a cool knife trick and couldn't open a pocket knife. inside you. <laughs> She watch this. Watch this. It disappeared. <laughs> Hilarious. Open back out. <laughs> now I have your wallet. Yeah, now it's a reappearing blade trick. <laughs> I'm gonna make this knife disappear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then she just like does a bunch of like fancy bullshit, which is literally just her like doing this. Was and, like, she moving her other hand around? No, <laughs> like no. Voda. Wait. Yeah, what? it was very Voda. It was a white girl. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck, white girl. Really cool. Yeah, but she was just like swinging it around like with a bunch of people around us i'm like hey okay that was a cool trick like it. <laughs> neat like Real nobody got hurt knife. she's like and that's how you do it she hands it back she's covered in blood <laughs> <laughs> her fingers are gone. <laughs> she's like just play it cool catherine like jesus christ 13 reasons just give me the knife back <laughs> Cody, hi. Hi. Dude, you were so quiet yesterday on the podcast. I don't know. You said like eight words, I think, total. Hi. Yes, more than usual. No, you've been doing good. People I, have been like, dude, Cody is in good places. Now they're going to put you at the back, the top of that death pool right there. God damn it. They're going to start blaming me. <laughs> like, when Nick's around. <laughs> Nick's around. I just want to die. Cody's tying knots in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get my rope ready under the table. Uh, it's about that time. <laughs> Sounds like you're talking about the dick rope again. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's my, my rope. Job. Job. That's rope my... Ready. Oh no! Eli Walking just Tony's emerges. Just like this. <laughs> 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 Wrong neck, Cody. Wrong neck. It hurts so when bad. Get me down. <laughs> under the head. That wasn't what I meant. <laughs> Why is your foreskin so strong? <laughs> it's supporting all your body weight. Eli you're made slowly, the knot. <laughs> you're slowly rotating and screaming in pain. <laughs> Eli's not so good. He's what like a ceiling fan. fan. Yeah. <laughs> but it has momentum, so his body's like slow. Hey, at least it's a little cooler in here. <laughs> Just naked Cody screaming, <laughs> taking shit out. It's like a cat stuck to the ceiling fan. Like oh, man. No. <laughs> Sorry for being quiet. I stopped drinking. <laughs> Life is really boring now. <laughs> That's why I had to drink so many. Life's very gray now. Yeah. I'm so bored. <laughs> I started working out. It's bullshit. <laughs> I have abs again. <sighs> In the meantime, I've started drinking more lately. And, uh, you know, I've got to pick up the slack. We're like at a net, ne a net neutral right now. Is that because you're on vacation? Well, oh, yeah. that is contributing to it now. What happened, Brandon? So uh, <laughs> I chooched her a little too, too far, Cap. Did they say what specifically? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By, well, by the second. <laughs> yeah, they, they had like timestamps of like, well, from here, here, and here. You violated like all of the policy. <laughs> what? I mean, oh my God. Wait, what? It's oh, yeah. Really I, so I, I had a call from my YouTube rep who's cool as fuck. And like, honestly, like working with YouTube has gotten a lot better no, no, once no. Start, being in the, start with the program. Text. Oh, yeah. He sends me a text <laughs> that just says, quote, bro, dot, dot, dot. And you're like, uh oh. Uh -oh. Like, I have no. a feeling I know what this is in reference to. And he calls me up. He's like, yeah, so you're, you're getting a strike. You're like, there's. It is the hand of God at this point. He's like, I cannot do anything about it. Uh, you, honest to God, earned the shit out of it. I just like, picture Brandon's like, what did yeah. I do? They just rotate the camera, the computer screen to him. They hit play. He's like, oh, hey, uh, my name is Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> like, so that's part I, one. Can't so they didn't have an issue. <laughs> You're not Japanese. I did do that Asian. voice, and they did not have a problem with that part. That was, that was like the least of their fucking concerns. <laughs> so good. It's mostly like, hey. Maybe if you're going to use our platform and uh, you want us to like gun content, maybe don't teach children how to make IEDs. Fair. Like, well, <laughs> to, be, like, to be fair, I'm holding this to the standard of what my childhood was like, and I did all of that shit. Yeah, so. and per our last conversation, walking around a nightclub with an AT4, that was completely normal. <laughs> I don't have a filter for that. Well, to be honest, like, I did actually know. I, I thought that this one might get taken down. We literally recreated, for those who don't know, we recreated the uh, <laughs> pipe gun, the improvised pipe gun that was used to kill the former prime minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. Because it's fucking wacky. I thought it would be cool. Shinzo. Actually, yeah. this was, hold on. This whole operation was your idea. 
Yeah, I feel somewhat responsible for this. Well, because when it, the day after it happened, Brandon and I are getting brunch, and he's like, "Hey, did you see where the prime minister, the former prime minister, died? Look at this gun." And I was like, "Holy fuck, it's a Fallout Four weapon! Like, it is a Fallout Four gun. It's so cool." And I'm like, "Brandon, build it!" Oh my and god, and I'm like, that "Fuck, that morning, I should build mm-hmm. that." And yeah. then, yeah. yeah, and then he built it, and then I built it, <laughs> and then YouTube shit itself. And uh, told me not to do that again. Yeah. And now you have a nice seven day vacation. Yeah. So when you get a strike on YouTube, the first strike, strike lasts for 90 days. Your first strike, you get banned for seven days. You can't upload, can't do anything. Well, they do the warning strike now. So you but get the. They did not do that for me. Because <laughs> you already had the warning strike. No, uh, that would have expired by now, right? They don't expire. That... Oh, you, then, your yeah, first I... warning strike is permanent now. And well, then your first that. strike is the seven days. It used to be 90 days, but. Your first, so you get you can get four strikes. First one is the warning that stays on there permanently. Yeah. The second one is what you got, which is a seven day ban. And then, and uh, that goes two, away. I think it's a thirty day ban. Yeah. And then if you get three, your channel's like perma deleted. Yeah. Nothing anybody could do about so it. That's, kind of that's thing. within a ninety day period, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. They expire yeah. After so 90 days. yeah, the, his will go away after ninety days. What are they going to do with your VBED video that's coming up soon? Oh man, uh, they suggested I don't post it. But you how know. to build a vehicle-born IED from Brandon? Herrera. Remember the last video? Just put it in a car. <laughs> I feel it's like Mr. Beast intro. Like I bought an old MRAP. <laughs> Today I'm going to teach Dude. you how to redacted. <laughs> <laughs> you just have Shinzo as the the dummy for the entire thing. So Brandon, are you We're trying to literally just Shinzo? Quit? Yeah. Like I, I no, dug no, him I, up. <laughs> Uncle Bernie's. <laughs> Uncle Amy's. Weekend, weekend at Bernie's. Fucking. Come on, everyone. <laughs> Touch the grass and fuck women. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that, that was my favorite line for the video. I'm like, yeah, no, his pretty much most of his platform is just telling, uh, you know, the youth of Japan to go outside, talk to women, and have sex. Instead, they shot him. You need to get a lady. Have a the sex. Touch a grass. <laughs> Touch a grass or eat a, the ass. Like, <laughs> <Shizo. which>? <laughs> <laughs> That's his quote. It, well, it's like the, the oh God. Oh Touch grass and eat ass. Shinzo Abe. 2022. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking peace out ascends to heaven. <laughs> I just love like, the, it's like the meme of the guy like, not knowing which button to press. It's like, Touch grass and talk to women. Shoot the prime minister. Like, <laughs> which one's easier? <laughs> Build a <de> bomb. <laughs> Welcome. Come. I, I like you're just not. You're like I still have a nine to five, man. I'm mean, just. Can you blur me out, Fluff? No, it's not even that. <laughs> I, that was me yesterday when he's casually walking up to a bar in flip flops and jeans with a fucking rocket launcher. Like this is not <laughs> there's zero. I legitimately chance. wasn't phased. Uh, the best part is we ran into two armed armed security guards, like real fucking Pretty guns armed. on their hips, like well oddly armed. armed for a security guard. We don't have those in Iowa. They it was were like armed mall security. Like it was like the strip uh, right, strip with, mall thing with like real Glocks. And, and like they tasers like, and pepper they, spray, like, all that shit. He's like, hey guys, it's just a prop for a music video. And one of them's like, it's a rocket launcher. What were we really going to do about it anyways? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I told him, I'm like, yeah, that was the look there, of... There's uh, no plates in here. And even if there was, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I looked at him I'm like, that was the look of, I don't get fucking paid enough for this. And they're like, not even close. Yeah. That's the walkout and you're like, eh, I'll phone it in. <laughs> I'm walk this way now. Brought to you by Uvalde PD. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah. Spicy. Cody, what did you do last night? You had... Oh, bro. Without drinking, now you're like tea, I, bed. Yeah, I, I drank some tea and worked out and... Had missionary sex. <laughs> yeah, dude. Missionary. <laughs> <laughs> no spillage. We're good. <laughs> No, no noises whatsoever. Can't talk. Sung hymns. Yeah, went, to sung hymns. went to bed. Your cum doesn't even want to leave. <laughs> no cum whatsoever. Okay. Like just this doesn't count. Call, come, the fuck, bro. Cum crawls back inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sitting there, and I'm like seeing the pictures oh, they're yeah. sending in the group chat, and I'm like, man, I feel great, but I'm so fucking bored. <laughs> I know. Even last night, I was like, dang, that looks good. Looked at Rod and I was like, you're not old enough, bro. <laughs> we can't go do this oh. thing. <laughs> that bar didn't give a fuck, to be honest. Bro, it was it was pretty nuts. I could have had you ID ride him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we would have been good. Ryan's in there hating everything because it's loud with a bunch of flashing 
lights and stuff. It would have been perfect. What I didn't realize is that Zeus is like a legit rock star in the Latino community and like can get away with any fucking thing he wants. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that legit. either. That's like I was unaware of this, but I figured that out after that night. This is Zeus, our Mexican rapper friend, not Zeus the Greek god, just if there's any confusion. Yeah, of course. Yeah. A uh, little shorter, wears a lot more cowboy hats. Less, and, less you know, lightning bolts. <laughs> less, I mean, less, <laughs> less demigod children is fine. <laughs> Maybe we don't know. Fewer, that fewer, fewer. We don't. Fewer. Not. fewer. <laughs> it's, it's not zero, but it's less. <laughs> right. This is a good dude, though. Like when you meet him, he's you're super like, oh, cool. super, super cool. talented too. Hyper talented. Like super, like into the party vibe. But like if you get him one on one, like he's actually a really cool dude. Yeah. Super intelligent. He's like hyper talented. That's what former so Air Force too. I think right. Yep. Air military Force intelligence, guy. something like that. Yeah, that one I forget. Yeah. No, he was military intelligence. Was For sure. Yeah. I mean, now that, he's that motherfucker knows Victoria's Secret. They know everything. Never heard you and your dad jokes, bro. He just what? fucking drops one liners. <laughs> speaking, speaking, is that what you do? At speaking night? of dad, you want to know what my fucking dad did the other day? Like, I, like do my I? like my dad's like my biggest fan with all the social media shit, and he's like, "You're going to this unsubscribe podcast thing." The first time I came, and he's like, "Okay, well, I found Donut on YouTube, and I see that Eli works for that Black Rifle Coffee Company, but like, you know." Who's this baddie guy? I can't find anything on him. His last YouTube video is from three years ago. I'm like, oh, he's really big on, he's really, really, really big on Twitch. Like, he's a big deal on Twitch. He's like, what the fuck is Twitch? So my dad goes on Google and types in baddie. And he's like, oh, he's got no. a really nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I couldn't find him. Dude, I looked for six hours. <laughs> just typing in Dude. baddie. Like the Kleenex bill was through the roof, but I looked for six hours to find Batty. Dude, go to go to Twitter and search for Batty. It's, oh God! You don't if always you are get under Batty. 18, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. See, I'm starting to be more careful. I'm nice. being more conscious of the YouTube That's guidelines. Cool. You, I'm That's re very cool, brand. Rehabilitating. <laughs> He's learned YouTube. You're keep, you're keeping See, those. Susan, I'm doing better. <laughs> I promise. Those outside thoughts you normally have on the inside. Where they belong. <laughs> until they boil up one day and something happens. You get your AT4 and take it to the bar again. <laughs> but it's different. Yeah. Did, you, did your dad listen to these? Oh, the, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Is he? What kind of man is he? Is he a Christian man? No. Okay. I was gonna, no, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> like, you guys, you guys think it's bad I drink Bush Light. My dad drinks Steel Reserve Tall Boys. Oh, uh, no. 5.9%. Those taste I think, so I think bad. a tall boy six pack is like four eighty nine. It literally says high gravity on the can. Yep. Like it's, it's not built to taste good. Yeah. No, baby mama would drink those. Oh no. Yeah, and she comes from like a well to do family. I remember hanging out the first time. She's like, I just want some steel reserve. I'm like, during pregnant <laughs> what? During pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm connecting some dots. <laughs> <laughs> Bryden's eyes would be way further apart. <laughs> Look like a gerontism character. Social distancing. <laughs> All right. I, I feel really bad about that. <clears throat> I, I had that moment right before where I'm just like, ah. Brett, no, I gotta just say, just talking it. about, just like I hold them in now. Yeah, the inside thought, those inside <laughs> thoughts are, and immediately <laughs> went to outside thoughts. thoughts. <laughs> All right. Oh man! Just like to my therapist, I fucking lied. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. It's like let's get all these guys together. This will be great times. Cody's just there. He's like, I want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to drink nineteen wine claws. I don't know why, but I just got that like the concept in my head of Cody being like the proctor for this conversation. And now I want a skit where Cody's proctoring a spelling bee for children, but it's all racial slurs. Can I hear it used in a sentence? <laughs> a proctor's the one that like sticks his thumb up your ass, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can yeah. I get the country of origin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this skit with you yeah. guys talked about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> People who annoy you. <laughs> I, I know it, I just don't think I should say it. Ten seconds, Mr. Marsh. <laughs> I would like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> it was... And then everyone was just like... Uh, it, it, was na uh, it was naggers, Mr. Marsh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Right. Dude, South Park goes so... They still do, to this day, they do not give a fuck. No, they, they still play the old ones that you're... In with words you're not allowed to say on Twitter that I get crucified for. 
<laughs> What's funny is you got more crucified, not not for saying the word, but for saying, well, it's a gamer word. Like, Cody, I think you're trivializing the nature, the yeah. power of these words. Yeah, and then that Jake Lucky fuck got on there and was like, oh, I can't believe you say this. He said this. This is so weird. This is a guy that runs a story like no matter what anyone says and tries to just bring <laughs> like trash on people because, yeah, whatever. I, I can't wait to it, all those guys like iDubs and whatnot that all of a sudden like they went from edgy content or like H3 Ethan Klein they go from like super edgy shit move. and then they move to California they get super popular and then they pull up the ladder for everyone else they're like okay maybe I got here from edgy shit and saying gamer words but you guys can't like you just yeah. need to start resp responding to that with just compilations of them saying the n-word for 18 minutes well it's a lot of the times you get what I've seen is because then they're in those groups, those environments, and you get to see how disconnected those echo or chamber. Yeah, do that yeah. echo chamber. Because you, you spent a lot of time in LA, right? Yeah, and that echo chamber, like, I remember what was it? It was like that one. They were like guns or blah blah blah. And I've been there so long. I was like, oh, I guess you don't need a whole bunch of guns. And I was like, what the fuck just entered yeah. my goddamn? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. It's that moment from Guardians of the Galaxy Two where like the show, the spell gets like shaken off. He's like. Talks about his mom and just, <laughs> what the fuck did I just think? Yeah, what the fuck? No, was no, that? no, no, <laughs> get away! And that's what happens. So you get those little echo chambers, and everyone's like, "Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting." And you get to see that complete switch from their character of who they were to where they are. Like Game Grumps, still love Game Grumps, but you get to see how I was showing staff old, uh, edgy Game Grumps, and she's like, "Yo, they used to go fucking." hard to the paint i was like oh yeah Aaron, like aaron and those guys didn't care and they would make all the jokes there was like one bit was <laughs> it's like any mini miny mo catch a tiger by the toe uh if he hollers let him go any mini miny mo and then one of the guests was like you know the racist version right oh yeah, yeah, and, then, yeah. <laughs> and then dan's like the racist version any mini miny mo black people am i right <laughs> i was just like what the it just catches you so off guard and then Aaron gets escalated from that so fast and it just goes downhill real quick I'm like they used to go so fucking hard now it's like they will not touch that subject just because they've been ingrained there so long now yeah I'm like you, you grew up in Alabama like you were taught the original version oh yeah yeah, yeah. My, <laughs> nana, my nana used to say it when I was little that was almost a joke but I, I believe it no yeah <laughs> nana did it was a different time <laughs> <laughs> sorry nana sorry nana Damn. i love you she doesn't know who i am it's okay okay <laughs> like oh, dementia or like... yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you just go with it you're like yeah yeah it's very sad wait no no <laughs> twitter cancels donuts nana <laughs> oh god cancel the nursing home with signs she's been kicked out of the nursing home we can't have her here anymore nana's on her own yeah. cancel <laughs> nana donut <laughs> like, oh no <laughs> She's like, what happened? <laughs> well, your grandson said Call that you said the N word sixty See, years ago. You 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 committed the crime of being born in the thirties. And uh... <laughs> why don't the Chinese use forks and spoons? <laughs> Nana, stop! <laughs> stop again! <laughs> God, <laughs> to be fair, I, I'm still on that train. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm sick. The, the answer is they, they don't have. The answer is they don't have enough food to warrant it. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Yet everybody in my comment section says they can beat America in a war. What? Uh, they think that? Oh, dude, so many. Wait, is that an actual? Oh, dude, my whole comment section. American military standards have gone down. We'd, we'd lose a war to China. It's like, bro, they got an island like 30 miles off their coast that they won't even fuck with, even though they really want to, because America said no. They don't understand. We've been doing <laughs> war for like 200 years out of the... It just we've been doing war since what well, we have you seven don't get this much if, oil on accident <laughs> is all i'm saying <laughs> if, you were to, if you were to draw a line graph of like how efficiently you could unalive somebody it's like 1776 that motherfucker spikes <laughs> <laughs> we're really good at america's this. the best at it <laughs> we've only done like what 12 years of a not in conflict yeah, yeah not in conflict. ever in the u.s history it's yeah. like 12 years of not in conflict. Legit. We're good at war at this point. We're some rowdy cocksuckers. It's uh, it's kind of a thing in history. Like people talk about World War II. Like, oh, the Germans made so many advancements, which which they did. Like yeah. the Germans are like engineers. Like they're they're fucking great at it. Yeah, we built the nuke. Dude, did, oh, Christopher New Nolan's new movie is, um, what's it called? 
Manhattan Project? It's about the Manhattan Project. That's his new movie. And it has uh, Murphy. Uh, Sisley Murphy? What's his name? Um, oh, Sil- uh, Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy's yeah. the I thought main you were like, Eddie, Eddie Murphy? Yeah, uh, yeah. He's the guy that did it. <laughs> oh, boy. Killian yeah. Murphy, he's the main actor, and it's about the Manhattan Project. Dude, some of that so shit's like, really sad. I don't know. Like, if you've ever, like, gone through some of that shit, like, at... There's a bunch of sad Bro, stuff during World, World War II. was fucking wild. Yeah. Like, they were the least. literally just throwing crimes against humanity at the wall in the name of science and seeing what stuck. Japan everyone, was very good Everyone at it. was doing Oh, yeah. That. What is it? Unit 721 or whatever yeah. the fuck? Like, yeah. Like, hey, you know what percent of the human body is water? Let's Ish, figure it roughly. out. Oh, like, like 70. Like 70. Yeah, like, you know why you know that? Because Japan. They squished a person, probably. Uh, no, they just took him, they weighed him, and then they put him in a convection oven for like three days until there was no liquid left in his body, and then they weighed him again and did the percentage math. And if it was Japan, he was probably alive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Japan that. did. That unit 7, whatever it was. 718, 728, something yeah, like seven that. Yeah, 731. Yeah, they... That's the one where we didn't take him to court because we they got so off. much useful information from the horrible They're shit They're like, that give happened. us all the data and we won't. Yeah. Make you a war criminal. It's like if you made Dr. Mengele from the Holocaust an entire war department. Yeah. That was that. It's they were like, like how hard not they were. known about it. No, and they, the were like, they were like, no, we didn't do anything bad. Why? Why it's are the also, Chinese so mad at it's us? It's also extremely well documented for being so poorly talked about. Right. Because that's, uh, yeah, that's one. They're like, oh, these, these kind of bacteria might be useful in the future for biological warfare. Let's keep these 18 prisoners alive, cut them open, and grow it in their livers. Yeah, vivisection. And they did a lot of vivisections, like a live operation. So like, let's just figure it out. Man, this is an awesome video game podcast. Yeah. Come. yeah, yeah. Video game? You guys yeah. are going go to go down some depressing rabbit holes later. So you can play this mission these are on just the a, upcoming Call yeah, of Duty. These are just <laughs> the deleted scenes from Medal of Honor. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't know the, uh, I didn't know he was making a movie about that though the manhattan project yeah and the, the trailer's out it comes out next year but that was i was like oh my god i didn't know they dropped the trailer and then i mean christopher nolan's one dude other than his last movie that was super fucking confusing tenant yeah tenant that's the only yeah. movie of his i was like eh, not a fan and to it it's because dumb. everyone was like it's confusing i understood like the the wave tops and i didn't actually care to understand the rest like, I have a feeling the more I dig into this, the less it's going to make sense. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is going on on that? That was one. I was just like, ah, you boys good. I'm not going to read any on this. I was like, uh, no. checked out after like halfway through. I was just like, I mean, it's cool. The VFX are awesome. They filmed in reverse and front. That's dope as shit. Wow, well, the guy from Twilight used assault rifle. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. We They would choreograph the fights backwards. Did you see that? No. So a lot of those fight sequences, they would they fought backwards. One actor would fight forwards. One would fight backwards. They would do everything in camera. Like a majority of that shit was done in camera, which is which is kind of wild. Yeah, that's why it looks realistic. It's not like three D or anything. You're so like, basically, oh, Christopher Nolan is just doing like uh, TikTok shit, which <laughs> like the tick what TikTok rewind <laughs> feature exactly. in a blockbuster movie. Okay, Got and it. then they wrecked the seven forty seven. That was cool. He was like, nah, we need to wreck a plane. They're like, we can VFX. He's like, nah. nah. Well, because didn't he do the nah. didn't he do the math? He's like, yeah, no, so the studio wants to CG that, but that's gonna cost three million dollars. And this plane, two and a half. Mm-hmm. I could just drive this into a fucking building right now. And they did. <laughs> and you're like, that's fucking dope. America. <laughs> but they're like, it's Christopher Nolan. No one's gonna like when he says, Oh, we're doing this. They're like, yeah, studio heads are just going to be like, uh-huh. Okay. Yes, he sir. did the Dark Knight. He can do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He does whatever he wants. It is okay. We are fine. So when's your next first video back? Uh, PBD. I, I, I might take a little break. I might actually go on vacation somewhere. I haven't taken a vacation for no reason in years. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do. Let's go to Vegas. I'm down. Do I you want to go gamble for a couple days? You're not drinking. Yeah, I'm, I can fucking gamble. It means I'll make better decisions. I don't know. Maybe I'll you're drink. You're not going go <laughs> to yeah, you're you're not gonna go to Vegas. You're not going to Vegas and not drink. That's not. That's illegal. Cody, how long is the <laughs> the phase? I don't know. Yeah, Heather and I are doing it together, so I'm not going to drink until she drinks. I'm very proud of you, though. Uh, Bring her to Vegas. She'll so break. boring. I know, right? Well, that's why we didn't go out last night. We were like, if we go out with Zeus and Brandon and fucking Nick, we're all we're gonna get shit. Oh, else. I told him about that, and he was like, it was yeah, bad. it was. Yeah, they would have drank. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, 100%. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I, I want to go pretty, gamble. Pretty really? weird. Yeah, right. dude. I love roulette. 
I know. I let's love go, roulette. Let's we go play. Go, let's go. Money on we just go need to black. go like ask uh, Arab what he would do. Oh yeah, exactly. Fuck man, you remember that Arab? Oh yeah, when we were there. Fucking now. So our, our, already Arab, Arab. Yeah, Arab. Arab. Um, he's he's a, a Twitch streamer and he does IRL streams and he travels all over the world just like walking around with his backpack, videoing people, talking to people. And he came with us to Vegas and he's never gambled before and we're all fucking degenerates so we were gambling all week. This was Shot Show, right? Yeah, yeah, it was during Shot Show. So he's with us and he's like, ah, you know, I don't know how to play roulette. And we're like, you know, put something down on a number if it pops and you get money and if you do a specific number and it lands on that you get one you get 32 times your money yeah you know if you get red or black you get double your money so he just takes like what was it like a thousand bucks I, you guys are fucking homie he just, homie, ate, my yo, he just ate my kiss <laughs> what um whatever whatever put down on the 32 times that first time you want a fuck ton it of was money. like 500 bucks yeah he never gambled before so he took 500 bucks and he put it down on one number hit that Holy number so 500 fuck. times 32 he got it and then he didn't gamble anymore for like the next hour. We're sitting there at the roulette table. Grand. And then we go back to, we go to another table and he does the same thing. Puts like a hundred bucks down on another number. This is the second time ever gambling in his life. Hits this, that number again, 32 times. Yeah. yeah. It was fucking Although, nuts. If dude. you do touch, if, if you watch that man's uh, like IRL streams, he definitely has been touched by some deity for good luck or whatever. Like yeah. just the shit that he captures and the shit that ha happens to this dude. It's like, what the fuck? I, man? I would like to recap that I watched you walk a rocket launcher into a bar last night. So like Fair. you're right up there with him. All right. I'll I'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> He's been blessed. Well, the the worst part is you get callous to it cuz now it's not even cool for me. I'm just like I, this is like I mean it'd be kind of cool if there was a rocket in it, but whatever. Hammered 3 in the morning at Whataburger. You okay. <laughs> the, the cashier <laughs> cashier's like to Brandon. Did anybody ever tell you you look like Brandon Herrera? And Brandon's like, don't look at me, I'm drunk. Yeah, I get, <laughs> yeah, I get that sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, I get that a lot. And he's just like, are, are you? <laughs> this might be kind of weird, but like, are, yeah, like they are do that whole like, song and dance. Yeah. And are like, you Brandon Herrera? Yes. Or guilty? What'd you say? I just like look at my wallet, pull out my driver's license. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Dude, 3 a.m. Whataburger is as Texas. As it gets. I have some great photos of you, Delicious. by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Believe me, I saw. I, no, I saw, you saw one of them. Oh, no. You didn't see the other one. Oh, God. It was the best. I think this is going to be my... I don't do contact photos, but I might make this yours. Yep, that's about how I felt. <laughs> Come. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that is... <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Put it on the screen. <laughs> I'd like to. I drank a lot that whole day. It was I a bad. You started five beers in or yeah, six didn't beers stop. in. I didn't realize that when you were at my house. Like you were like, oh yeah, no, I just downed like six drinks like two hours ago. I'm like, fuck, okay. <laughs> He's like, catch you up. seem oddly okay. I'm like, no, I'm hammered. He's like, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> like, oh, so you're like me. So like, you could be belligerently and like, drunk enough. You want to go see you know. my gun room? <laughs> yeah. And you're over there like. <laughs> picking up guns I'm like oh yeah that's probably loaded and you're like yep yep and the next one <laughs> yep <laughs> one two that's the lever action shotgun from Terminator <laughs> say hello to my little friend no 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 that one's loaded too stop 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 <laughs> You just, I'm just stop spinning it. <laughs> yeah, do not spin that one. Oh, Brandon, stop it. Brandon won the death pool. <laughs> well, Nick killed Brandon. It's hey, like I, it's like the dude he yeah. domes in that assist. movie. <laughs> like the dude he domes in that movie, the liquid Terminator guy, where like the chunks missing out of his head, except it's red and it doesn't grow back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah, the T1000. <laughs> like, no, that's just Brandon now. <laughs> you lived though. You did that. Um, oh, Brandon lives. He's just. Oh, that's right. That's my power. Okay. Fuck. Wait, what's your power? He's retarded. Uh, <laughs> that's his superpower. It's like, why did he choose that? We don't know. <laughs> life I just, he has a genius. Life imitates like, art. I want a million dollars. I got that. I can fly. Yeah. It's like, and my superpower's being retarded. I ain't granted. <laughs> ain't you. <laughs> I like totals. Yeah, and you fly off and run into something. <laughs> Well, retards can fly. Is that... No, that was your second wish. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, I don't get the, like, you fly up, like, thank you so much. <laughs> With your million dollars. <laughs> that honestly sounds like a great life. God. Uh, all your bills are always oh, oh, no. You don't have stress. You can buy so much ice cream. <laughs> Dude, I will, like, totally, like, fucking flowers for Algernon my way out of here. Like, that's... Fuck. 
Wow, this episode is going oh, no. great. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's like the, uh, what is that? The, uh, oh, I forget the fucking name of the, the show. Uh, Quantum Leap. <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> Have you seen that? No. Uh, do you know what Quantum Leap is? This is before your time frame. No, think. probably. But I'm, he's older than me. Yeah. Wait, how old are you? 30? 28. No, you're not. I'm 28. Yeah, see, I put that on Instagram. I had, oh, I had, he's I older had, than me. Bro. I had 500 DMs. Like, bro, I thought you were 40. I'm like, thanks, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> thanks, dude. I get that all the fucking time. Oh my god, genetics. Am I right? No, I, I tell him it's like the Indiana Jones thing. Like, it's not the years, honey. It's the miles. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, Quantum Leap, a very good show. We'll show you that specific clip after. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, yeah, put yeah. the put the clip up there, Flug. <laughs> How do you, you play that? It's on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. The so whole premise of the show <laughs> is that he, like, jumps to other people's bodies. Like, he, he like, solves mysteries or crimes or whatever the fuck. I didn't really want He can't leave until he solves, like, the crime. The problem. Yeah. yeah, the problem. Yeah. So he literally teleports into other individuals. So he goes into somebody's body. He just wakes up. He's like this. It's such a great oh, comedic it? beat nowadays, though. <laughs> the 90s was a different time. It was like the most popular show in the 90s. <laughs> the I do. 90s was a different time. Straight up, I have days like that. <laughs> Just walk over the mirror like, I'm retarded. <laughs> <sighs> Explains so much. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> Do you want to do ads? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, followed by that, let's talk about <laughs> out of regs. Speaking of being fucking retarded, <laughs> out of regs. Make your hair retarded with style. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got back. You would be your a if you didn't <laughs> use out of regs. God. Use code come. <laughs> The come 20? Come 20. Use code come 20. Batty has his new batty cream. Batty cream. I know batty cream. I love that we just call it batty cream now. <laughs> Bad dye. Bad dye Bad cream. Dye. Also, we got our hair paste donuts, beard stuff. Batty has beard oil now. You have beard oil too, right? Yeah, I could. Yeah, beard. I think I got beard cream. Yeah, you got beard, I got cream, beard and cream. Maybe beard oil, but oh. go save twenty percent. You can so use uh, unsub unsub twenty or come twenty. Come twenty. Use come twenty. Use come twenty. Way fucking cooler. Outofrex.com. C U M with a Z. Z. <laughs> Because we spell extreme with no E. I'm going to get a text about this one. X Games. <laughs> or they're going to clip it and put that up. I'm like, guys, why'd you make that the main ad? That you're putting an advert behind no, on no, Facebook. No, no. <laughs> like, what is really doing good? Well, then I'm going to have to do another edit, like, see you, Space Cowboy, for out of ranks for their fucking social media accounts. <laughs> see you, Space Cowboy. Can't, can't your last YouTube video be sponsored by them, out of regs? <laughs> I mean, maybe it was. You don't fucking know. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> Cody, how are you doing? What's your next big video? Who are we breaking down uh, next? Depends on who gets murdered next by police. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, buddy. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Murder. Murder. <laughs> I always love your thumbnails now because I'm like, I pop up on YouTube. You'll pop up. Or brand, it's like, boom. And it's like... <laughs> That's how I do my thumbnails. I, I, I turn, yeah, I turn OBS on, and I'll sit there and just in front of the camera at the end of my videos go, and then I just go from those those frames. Yeah, and then the title's super clickbait. I'm like, God, these guys get it. They just fucking. He's like a, a teenage girl in a mall in the '80s with that photo booth, like. I mean, it works. Though. It does. Like, it, it works like a motherfucker. You man. get it yeah. really quick, and then that's the thing. We can just do that right now. Be like. Luck, you're welcome for all of the uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> and so Reddit, you're welcome. Yeah, because they're okay. gonna have the most fun with it. Dude, our Reddit is fucking hilarious, man. They, they you going... guys are all sucking off Batty right now in the subreddit. You're you watching. Seen. Yeah, I am. Did you see that? They oh, added no, you I in didn't. the bush. No, no. <laughs> it's Wait, just Brandon I... in the corner in the bush, like <laughs> you're like you're like you're watching. I'm like, yeah, I just told you about it. Of course, I was watching. No, I, I haven't seen that. Holy shit. Yeah, oh, the the new Dune one though. Did you see the new Dune one? Dune. I don't. Know. <laughs> Dude. Oh my God. Where's the Dude. The new Dune one I sent. Where did I send that to the group chat? That shit had me rolling. I was like, what the fuck is this? All of this started because of a waitress. We had a waitress that looked like like Walmart Zendaya. 
Oh and have you, have you seen it. have you seen the new <laughs> wish.com? Uh, yeah, have you seen the new Dune with, with Zendaya? Uh, in yeah, it? yeah. So we we were like, this isn't this isn't Dune, this is Dune. D O D O O N. Oh it's like, was she in the film, the popular film Dune? <laughs> Welcome to Dune. Welcome to Dune. <laughs> we have the spice. Fan fan warm hongi. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We... Going to hell. Oh, 100%. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Dun, dun. <laughs> our people are so I love how he's basically just in a giant fucking like tomb style like sleeping bag. <laughs> Dude, our, yeah, that Reddit goes. We talked about it one time. I was like, oh yeah, because they didn't Super believe. Hard. They didn't believe. I like commented on one of it. It was like 80 people in there and they said something. And I was and I was like, hey, I remember this. And they're like, you're not even the real Eli. Like this bitch. Fucking thinks I'm lying about this. We talked about it once. It's like, and you're like, okay, now it's popping off. Like, oh, God. I get that in my own. They're like, or I responded to some guy, like, oh, I wish Brandon would do X, Y, and Z. I'm like, well, this is the reason why I won't because, you know, blah, 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 blah. He's like, well, that would be really cool if it was actually coming from Brandon and not like a weird Stan fanboy. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> You're sitting in the video for a second. I'm like, video. taking a minute out of filming a video. I'm like, oh, the Fuck you. <laughs> You're just pissed off now, Put Kong. it in the video. Hey, shout out. That was me, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> and to this cocksucker, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Satan Boy 69, fuck you. Yeah, go fuck yourself. You'd be like, dang it. That was him. Then you get taken down for bullying. Dude, fucking 100%. Heather's, Heather. po Heather's post got taken down for bullying. Heather, so Batty posted a video. You remember yesterday with the, the magic card? Some of it. <laughs> that magic card bad he posted oh, no. it. Yeah, it's... tagged Heather. That was and then she reshared it and got fucking it got taken Dude, down. That yeah. happened to me with you guys because somebody did like a fuck Mary Kill thing. And like I reposted, I think you 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 posted out <laughs> posted it out. I fucking reshared it and they banned me for harassment and bullying. Yeah. They're they're pretty crazy about that right now. Dude, IG's so bad about that shit right now. IG Facebook, like just fucking dog shit. Are you hungover, Nick? Me? No, actually, surprisingly not. Feeling good. Drank a lot of beer, but I also drank a lot of water. You're still at that young age. You hit 30, that shit Bro, switches. I, I, I keep I'm, hearing that age I'm go up. I'm 28, up. but if we cut the rings and count, I bet there's more than 28 rings. Like, there's no way I'm only 28. I go in my son's fucking bedroom to tuck him in at night. It's a hardwood floor. I'm barefoot. It sounds like fucking pop rocks because it's just my leg bones grinding on other leg bones with no cartilage. <laughs> it's it, man, I don't. 30 is when I started feeling like 28 to 30 and now at 30, a hundred years old. Like, that's why I don't go out and party hard because I'm like, oh, I know what, when waking up's going to be like, like Vegas was, Shasha's never fun. We just wake up and I'm like, the secret is you don't stop. <laughs> yeah. So I, I remember what hangovers were like. <clears throat> I don't have those anymore. <laughs> You're just, I just alcohol. don't. Yeah. It's like, I'm sweating vodka right now. You could probably light my forehead on fire. <laughs> what was the Dick the archer the archer thing? If I stop now, uh, if I stop now, I'm convinced the collective hangover might kill me. <laughs> 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 They've been multiplying. <laughs> Bloody hurts. Mary, full of vodka. <laughs> it's when I stop doing. When you take those breaks from drinking, you're like, you wake up and you're like, the sun's shining. Not having fun. Yeah, exactly. No, you get what's called withdrawals. <laughs> I don't get this. I, I happen to get, last time I quit drinking, I happen to get like kind of sick coincidentally at the same time. And I was really worried. I'm like, every time I've quit drinking in my entire life, I've never had any physical symptoms. I've just been bored. And that time I was like feeling kind of nauseous. I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. I am an alcoholic. Fuck. This. Uh -oh. Daddy's got the shakes. <laughs> But I shoot with this hand. <laughs> hey, that movie you, could you, never be you made. You shoot AKs, it didn't matter. Yeah, that, I'm surprised that movie still ends up on Netflix occasionally. What is it? Blazing Saddles. Oh, That's shit. Amazing. Amazing. The movie that oh, would God. never get made. This one of, so good. One of my favorite movies of all time, but it's not very good. Like, I, I went back and watched it the other day, and I'm like, I was showing somebody the movie. I'm like, wow. This really doesn't hit the way it used to. I think it was just the shock value. That's what those... Those older ones, it's like Airplane. Airplane's good. But oh, it's I love like, Airplane. It's, yeah. It's Leslie just, Nielsen, that slapstick fucking 70s comedy. 
And I like that style, bringing it back, making it more relevant instead of now where it's this weird. It's weird watching older movies because it is. It feels old when you watch it, and you just got to get past that shit. But what was that movie with Ryan Gosling? The Notebook and uh, oh, and uh, fucking what's his name? The guy who plays Zeus in the new uh, Thor. I'm trying to remember that fucking actor's name. Oh, oh Russell, 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 Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah. Sorry, that's where I went, but that's the first thing. He did a buddy cop movie with him that was kind of like that, like dark slapstick fucking. Oh, were they in Hollywood? Oh, what yeah, fucking and, was uh, that? Yeah, I forgot. Um, like the something that's not the other guys. No, I know what you're talking. Like nice about. guys. The nice guys. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. That's that pretty was a good. good one. Just watched. Uh, we wa we talked about Drive. If you've never seen Drive, that shit goes fucking good. hard. Dude, like you are mm -hmm. way too autistic to have never seen Drive. I know. I don't and know so how. like the cinematography. The shots, the coloring, like they mm -hmm. follow the rules of the teals, like the orange and the, like and the the teal, like the to a T. Fuck is the rule of the teals? It's orange. So if you'll notice, almost a like I said, you're far too autistic to have not oh, seen no. Drive. <laughs> I could, I'll show you afterwards on movies, and you're like, God damn it, I never noticed. Then you're gonna notice. You're every saying single rule time. of the teals. All I hear is like Knights of the Veil vale from Game of Thrones. It's, so teals and orange, teal and orange. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I thought teal was oh. blue. So did I. I am. I don't know what teal like is, and at this point, I'm blue. too afraid. Yeah, to that's what I thought. I thought. Oh wait, you just said orange. Yeah, you said orange. Teal and Teals orange. And orange. Right. You'll see that if the there's teal, or there's the color. always there. They're yeah, complementary colors. You're gonna have the exact end of the spectrum. Every movie, and we can Speaking watch it. Drive the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, no, I will go right now. A and be like, ah, ooh, <laughs> flipping the table. He's just like freaking out, like the colors. Yeah. The color. <laughs> <laughs> the Every movie will do it. The teal is an orange. Teal and orange. <laughs> oh, there's a teal is an orange. I was like, Eli, if no. I take a blueberry and put it beside an orange, it's two goddamn different teal colors. Teal and orange. You're always okay. going to have those colors together when you're filming. So in uh, Drive is a perfect example. You have the teals and you'll have the oranges. You'll have the 60-30-10 rule. 60-30-10 is 60% of teal, 30% of orange. Eli, I don't, okay. I don't know Flood, if you know this. I don't, Flood, I don't do listen. Do a hyperloop <laughs> of us progressively falling asleep <laughs> while he's explaining all these rules. <laughs> I, I I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm not very good at following rules lately. Apparently, so like <laughs> you're like I checked out. You did break a world record though. Uh, what would that be? Most expensive. Oh yeah, most expensive pipe gun. Yeah, ever. Yeah, cost me like fucking fifteen grand. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. Afterwards, frame that bitch. Not at the beginning. <laughs> the opportunity cost was uh, was very high. It was very high. So you can blame Donut for this. Sue him. Take him a small claim. Oh, court. man. Oh, fuck yeah. That, that's over the limit. <laughs> Shit, yeah. You, you guys hate each other now. A lawsuit. Why, why did Friendship. you give me this idea? <laughs> it's like that fucking Pakistani meme where it's like, Friendship with Donut has ended. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Drive was, uh, I don't know that's how right. I never watched that's that. Right. And then I just watched the, the Invitation. You guys ever heard of that? No. It has a movie from... Oh, what is the, the does does it have a good color palette too, dude? Always. No, that one was it was a decent color palette. <laughs> good. If unfortunately, <laughs> it's all I look for. Why do you think I have the colors the way they are in here? I'm like this. It looks good. <laughs> like that project we were working on. You're like, what do you think what? about these color palettes? And you sent me like eight different ones. I'm like, bro, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't fucking I don't know think that hard <laughs> for the like, series. I did color. that. <laughs> like I, uh, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. Like this is not my expertise. I don't fucking care. I have no clue. <laughs> I build pipe bombs. <laughs> yeah. This is Eli. When I send something, I'm like, Brandon, here's the script. Here's this. <laughs> like same for you. I'm like, this is. I think the dialogue. It's like a rough thing. Here's the color palette. I'm thinking for this. Here's what we can do on this. It's like. I, mean, I want a full book when I hand them like this is my idea and they're like this is a goddamn business button uh-huh me, me uh -huh. and you went back and forth on the script for like hours <laughs> yeah and then you like talk about color palettes you're like okay these are the fucking Home Depot paint swatches I'm thinking about for the for the for the look of the show and I'm like I don't know man I I blow shit up and make jokes I don't know. Like, I'm a one trick pony so am I <laughs> I get canceled on Twitter every week <laughs> life hack just don't have Twitter <laughs> So fun. In the words of Dave Chappelle, people. Twitter is not a real place. What is uh what is the movie where the guy gets an he's paralyzed and then he gets that implant and it's a robot that takes over his uh I know Spider Man, Doctor Octopus. Trans something. Fuck, no, what is that guy? I know you're talking about right. Yeah, because he's with his he gets he's with his wife and he gets robbed, right? And he gets yes, paralyzed. Wife killed but man. then it like turns him into like a fucking like Yeah. Have like, you seen that one? He's like, thing. I don't want to do this. And he's just snapping people's necks and shit. Oh, he's like Okay, get like because the body takes over. He's like, "What would you like me to do?" He's like, "Don't kill him." He's like, "Okay," and he's just holding the guys down. He's like, "I'll never talk." He's like, "He's like, 
body, make him talk. And he just like closes his eyes and looks up and you just hear a knife like. <laughs> what movie is this? I, oh, it's really, I, it's really I, good. I thought it was yeah. like, it's not transporter. Thing like that. I, can't, I can't remember what it was. Killed man gets robot body. Upgra- <laughs> Isn't it like upgrade or something Ooh, like that? Um, that might upgrade. be it actually. That is yeah. A- yeah. The fuck was I thinking? I literally <laughs> think it's upgrade. Upgrade. You've never seen Upgrade? No. Bro, it's actually it's pretty fucking metal. It's a good ass movie. Like it, yeah. it's highly reviewed because I never heard of it. Or I seen the trailer. I was like, oh, it's gonna be a shitty movie. Then I looked at the reviews. I was like, yo, this is actually a dope ass movie. Yeah. And then it's funny because the comedic beats. It's like he like the <laughs> cuts him up. He's like. Uh, and the body's like, okay, it is done. Because it can hear in his brain. He's like, okay, sweet. He looks down. He's like, ugh. <laughs> like, he gets sick of me. He's like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> his body does everything on its own. And he, like kills people. And he starts vomiting the first time he does it. Because he's like, I can't hurt him. I don't, I don't, I don't. And the guy's like, coming. He's like, okay, fucking take over. Body's like, tch, 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 breaks his arm. Like, fucking cuts the guy's after. throat out. And he's like, oh. the guy that looks like. Um, the main guy? Yeah, he looks exactly like uh very useful information. He looks like uh I know, I'm trying to think of Buffering. the You can't Harder. think of the actor uh, Hardy. or the Hardy. Tom Hardy? Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. He looks like Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy? No, he's not Tom Hardy. <laughs> 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 he was it, looks like I'm trying to was think it, of anyone who looks like Tom that, Hardy. Was it the guy that played Tom Hardy's brother in that movie where they're twins? Was it that guy? <laughs> fucking Tom idiot. Hardy? Tom <laughs> Hardy? <laughs> Tom Hardy. <laughs> Tell me he doesn't look like Tom Hardy. He looks I nothing like Tom Hardy. See the facial hair and all that shit. Oh my know. god, you guys are dickheads! Mm. Well, not in that angle. He That's does have facial hair. Or that hair. angle. Or that that angle. That angle. He, he looks like Tom Hardy, and y'all can see. look yes, there at that exact angle. <laughs> he does. Yeah, when he you're zoomed in on his neck scar and his <laughs> fucking ear, it looks just like him. Shut the fuck yourself. <laughs> He looks like Tom Hardy. It's those, a good movie. Those, at the end of the day, that's those the- earlobes are identical. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. That looks like Tom Hardy. But yeah, when half well, of his face is fucking erased. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's showing me pictures of like 40% of this guy's fucking face. I got it's an a, eyeball and half no a lip. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> What's funny is that, like, that sounded like the plot of Venom. Literally that half yeah. his face. So you're like, oh, he looks yeah. like Tom Hardy. I'm like, they just remade Venom. <laughs> And the internet's gonna get pissed at me. Like, no, you just book a movie came okay. first. I said, I said that the new Top Gun copied Star Wars, and the internet was mad at me. So, Dude, you yeah, was, I saw I that. Oh, when I watched <laughs> yeah. the video, I was like, oh my god, you are actually a hundred percent right. Fucking close, yeah. <laughs> An old what? Can you break it down? Because it's so fucking oh good. <sighs> Go. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> our story, our story starts off with a young male protagonist whose father died recently and he was raised by unknown people and then he recently gets found again by his dad's old friend that's kind of sort of been looking out for him from afar but not really making contact and then he decides he wants to follow in his dad's footsteps and then he wants to become a warrior and then he goes and does a bunch of training with his dad's old buddy they originally don't like each other now they do and then they have to go on an extremely dangerous mission that involves flying at high speed and low altitude through a canyon as opposed to a trench on a death star and then they have to take a sharp aerial turn and in star wars they have to hit a vent on this weapon of mass destruction that's approximately two meters wide whereas good to top, see that space warriors are still using top, the metric system top, by the way top gun <laughs> top gun's totally top different because he had to hit a, a vent on a uranium a refining rat, facility yeah. that was three meters yeah. so he had it way easier and then right before they're about to go into the mission, Luke and Rooster can both hear the voice of their still alive person whisper in their head. One says, use the force. And the other says, don't think about it, which are roughly the same fucking thing. And then, yeah, it was a huge six. Oh, wait, no, because then they have to hit it twice in the movie. And for some reason, the first person fucked up and missed it. And then they both elect to not use aiming gear in star Wars. He ch- puts his aimer to the side and just trusts his feelings. And for rooster, the laser targeting system breaks and he just has to fucking swag it. We <laughs> just fuck scientific wild ass guess. And he just drains the three and blows up this weapon of mass destruction. Oh, yeah, it is, it is the same it. fucking movie. Yeah. Because I forgot he just used the force <laughs> to do it. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Spoiler. Retroactively. <laughs> <laughs> If hey, look, put the uh, put the spoiler alert thing on the bottom now. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> start flashing really big on the screen. It's like whip, whip, whip. 
Man, it's already been ruined. But yeah, to a fucking T, that is. It, it was alarming. Um, yeah, that makes a lot of oh, sense. And then, like, so, and then the other part that killed me was uh, they, they both get shot or they get shot down or whatever, but then they find the F-14. The F-14 Tomcat is like one of the few only planes that can change its wing pattern mid-flight, just like the X-Wing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Fuck me. No, the, well, the, the thing that got me is it's like a shot for shot. Not only, yes, you're entirely correct in your assessment. Uh, it's a shot for shot recreation of like the first movie. Yeah. Like, because I watched it like an hour before I watched Top Gun 2. And it is like the exact, like to a point where I'm like, oh, I, I see what they're doing here. Like, this is almost like the same dialogue. Like, it's like, it's almost like a soft reboot. And now I want to go back and watch the first Top Gun and think like, is this Star Wars 2? So... Part that blew me away is like, you know, the beginning scene when he's doing the experimental, like basically the SR 72. Oh, yeah. The Dark yeah. Star. Uh, and like, he just like, you know, it rips Breaks apart. It. And, yeah. he, you know, like something like that actually happened. What? An SR 71. Like, that's semi based off of a real event because an SR 71 pilot was going like 2,000 some odd miles an hour. And he's like, I just felt the aircraft breaking apart around me. And he's like, next thing I remember feeling was like I was floating. And he's like, I thought I was dead. And then he's like, and then my parachute opened and my fuck, like my heart hit my butthole. <laughs> like he yeah, survived dude, that fucking stop your butt. It's like, and blackout from cheese immediately <laughs> with that. You're just like, oh, blood is literally like <laughs> under your feet. And you're like, it just squirts out the bottom. You just like get rolled up like a leak. human <laughs> toothpaste <laughs> tube. Just your toenails is fucking cheese. Like blood blistered. Oh, your feet just grow real fast. And they I'm trying to think up. of like a parachute that could be designed to stop you from that speed and not kill you instantly. Well, so like, I mean, he would like, I'm assuming he was decelerating for a while because he like that plane's very high altitude. So like he was. What's crazy is that you what's guys. What's fucked up is that you're kind of like insinuating like, oh, well, there's not that much wind drag because there wasn't that much fucking air yeah. up yeah. top. Fuck. In the atmosphere, that's a that's, scary thought. Like to, in my head, that's worse. Well, like, that's like the dude, the parachute, the guy that jumped out of the NASA the Red or, Bull guy. Yeah, Red Bull guy that jumped yeah. out above the Earth's atmosphere, jumped in. Bodies falling, you hit terminal velocity like 260, 270 miles an hour, I think. Right? I think it's less than that. Maybe 180? I think it's 158. I, that's the number that sticks out. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, totally I can't wrong. remember. It was like 150 to 250. See what that is on skydiving when you're like... Human terminal velocity. You know, if we made a flame retardant squirrel, we could drop it from any height and it'd be fine. <laughs> Squir <laughs> squirrels are one of the only animals whose terminal veloc velocity won't kill them. Really? They're so light. You can drop them literally yeah, a, as, as long as they uh, wouldn't burn up on the atmosphere. They'd yeah, be fine. We'll just wrap it in aluminum foil. That's what I'm saying. A skydiver uh, with arms and legs stretched out is a terminal velocity of 125 miles an hour. What if what they're about shorter? Stretched, and not sizes. stretched out, or like stretched out like this, or tucked in. Like, yeah, like would have like would, a needle. Would Clint be the same? A stable belly to earth position, terminal velocity of human body is about two hundred kilometers an hour, one hundred and twenty miles per hour. Okay, so that's not that's not tracking. So okay, gotcha. So, I don't think it would be that much different if you like go this. Like oh, it's not it going to be like three hundred. It is a when yeah. you track and when you track the amount of speed you pick up is fucking ridiculous. Because I you're like Brandon, you're like free falling like this. The second I go like this and put my hand and stretch my legs out, you just go, you can feel and hear the wind suddenly go like, like your body fucking takes off and you see earth just like shooting behind you now. It is a fucking weird feeling. You're like, and I'm cool and I'm cool. Go like this. And you're like, did I hit it? And it's like, your body just. We're talking about up. like where there's not that much wind resistance because yeah. you're talking about fighting the air. Finding and shooting downward. Right, but like where there's like you're basically doing it from fucking orbit. You're talking about nine point eight meters per second squared, like constant. Well, so from orbit, what was crazy is that guy. Uh, there's no air, <coughs> yeah. So it's very little. So homeboy was, uh, I think he hit a maximum speed of eight hundred and fifty miles Fuck an hour. Me. God yeah. damn! So he went from, and now he almost got in a rotation. He fixed it thankfully because. He started spinning. He got it corrected, and they're like, "The you centripetal good? force could rip your arms off." And that's why he's like, holy shit. And they're like, you're falling at 800 miles an hour right now. And he's like, Whoa. and then finally he hurt, uh, hit atmosphere, winter, like actually hit the force of air and everything. And then he slowed down to God human. Damn. Uh, he's probably the only person who has ever gone 800 miles an hour without a vehicle and survived. Yeah. That's in cool. all of human history. 
It was crazy because they didn't expect. I, well, they probably did, but it was like he was like, "I'm going to." Spin. <laughs> you can hear it on his voice. He's like, "Correct, correct, correct." He's like, "I started to black out," and if you black out, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and then dead homeboy would have been fucking spaghettified into a fucking you know, yeah. Red Bull would have pulled all their sponsorship. They uh, would have completely Red, renounced Red the project. Red Bull does not give you wings. <laughs> 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 gives you death. I was like, what the fuck? Fuck that shit. How? Red uh, Bull will yeet you out of a fucking space <laughs> shuttle. <laughs> fucking kill you. I meant to ask you, how did uh, how'd that work with Clint Trial and uh, Jonathan Blank? Like when they jump? Is it... Do they... Because if you, if you guys don't know that know them, they they don't have legs. They got they got blown up, and, but they went skydiving with you guys. Yeah. So Clint and John Johnson's been more. Uh, Clint, this was his first time back. Yeah. He did the tunnel, and that was his biggest fear because your legs are your driving force for like tracking or a lot of like, hey, I need to go forward, I need to go backwards. So is your arms, but that's your real driving force is your legs. Hey, I need to go this way quick. Fucking straighten them legs out. You fucking go forward. You need to go backwards. Pull your legs back go backwards and that was his biggest fear but he flew super easy clint and um jonathan they both uh got it really quick he was like surprisingly it didn't make a big difference he was like going forwards a little bit different because i have to use my upper body mm -hmm. and i called it cheating i was like you don't even you don't fucking half of you is missing bro there's a cheat code right yeah. there like, what's, fuck what's, you, Eli. what's that terminal velocity smart guy <laughs> i don't fuck I, smart guy i was using fucking google <laughs> You said something, something square. Terminal velocity skydiver, no legs. Eight meters per second squared. This is gravity. Like, yeah, you're an electrician. You should that. know that. Yeah, because that's moving electrons. Yeah, so <laughs> I look. I don't know what you think I do for a living. It's just like somebody's like, Can you fix my fridge. I don't. I don't. I think of a lot shit. of electricians on top of like the huge ass power poles. So I figured they would know how fast see, they fucking see, die. See, those aren't electricians. Those are linemen. There's a difference. Well, I learned something today. Thank you. Good. And and you learned the speed glad. of gravity. I didn't hear what you said. Which now I know if I fall <laughs> off a building, I can like correct my error. Like I can like get stable position before I kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I think about you, it. I was like, oh, if I fell from like, a building, I'm like, okay, you, you get to stabilize. <laughs> you get to pick which car you want to hit. <laughs> I always, I always yeah, hated I that. I always I hated that fucking guy. <laughs> I would track. Yeah, exactly. It's like, where do I? Is that Mustang a V6 or a V8? I wondered quietly is to that myself. <laughs> Who do I get PTSD my decision today? Is that oh, look, a community oh. pool. <laughs> 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 Just fucking die. <laughs> Holy the shit. The biggest cannonball ever. Holy shit, is that the former prime minister of Japan? <laughs> <laughs> you see someone you don't like. You just <laughs> missile into them. <laughs> track as hard as possible into them. I'm like, fuck them today. <laughs> oh. You just are a human bonsai bomber. <laughs> just play a joke on my friend Cody's walking out to his truck. His raptor <laughs> just smashed on his raptor. It's like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Got Eli all over me and not in the way I like. Funny prank, Eli. <laughs> Honestly, I there just, goes I just, classic <laughs> Eli again. Classic Eli. <laughs> he actually showed up. Oh. <laughs> the one time. Always he early or late, never on yeah. time. Top golf, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> the next jump cut is at like one of those car wash places, just trying to <laughs> wash Eli off Cody's your fucking raptor. God, Say damn. bye to Eli. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> but I was going to say the SR-71. Yeah. I didn't know that was built. Like, it's loose metals. Yeah. That's what's so, fucking So the metal, metal tolerances on it are loose because it has so much friction going over it at its like it, speeds. The metal expands enough that it's enough to make a difference. So they put it together loosely, and it expands to be tight mid-flight. So Which it it leaks crazy. like a motherfucker because of it. It leaks everything. You know what? That's what they were saying. It's yeah. like they're like everything. You know. Leaks from you know it. what it's made out of, right? Yeah. Titanium. Oh, so, but, so we had a so, very long conversation it, about this right. yesterday. So it was made. Uh, it's made out of titanium. But when they designed it, and when they made it, the only place to get like refined titanium was from the Soviet Union, oh. and they weren't about to sell it to America during the seventies for you know reasons. And so the CIA opened up a bunch of different dummy corporations like out of the Caribbean and like South America. And they just ordered small amounts of titanium from Russia at a time. 
and they ended up getting enough to build this fucking plane, and then they actually had to figure out how to machine titanium. Yeah, so titanium uh, is not like other metals that you work with. Like if you're machining it, like on a lathe, mill, CNC, whatever. Like you could do that with aluminum, steel, you know, whatever the fuck. Softer Ti metals. Well, not just that, but titanium also work hardens. So like when you're hardening metals later in a heat treating process, like it, you'd make the the Rockwell hardness like you know harder. So plus, you know, yeah, like really really hard to work with. But you machine it in a less hard state. Titanium, when you machine it, actually heats up and begins to heat treat itself as you're running it. it. So Ooh. it becomes like you can machine it in the beginning and it'll work harden and break your carbide bits or whatever the fuck. So it, it is actually hard to. This is like an actual skill you have to learn how to machine the metal. That's crazy. So they had to learn. So they so they learned it. They built it, and then everybody that like they brought in like the best machinists in America to figure the shit out, and they did. And they made the plane, and they're like, "Cool, never fucking talk about this ever again." And I made a I made a video on the SR seventy one, and like somebody got a hold of me, and was like, "My dad, what like did the original machining on the prototypes of the SR seventy one?" And he's like, "The U S government called my dad up and brought him out of retirement when he was like in his mid to late eighties, because they were like, how the fuck did you do this?' Because we, we torched all the, like, there's no instructionals. There's no how you did it. We got rid of all of it because it was a secret project. So they had to bring this guy to retirement in his 80s, paid him a shit ton of money, oh, I bet he and made. taught him how to do it. He actually had enough to build his own SR-71 after that. <laughs> they paid him so much. Oh, that's terrifying. A 90-year-old with an SR-71? <laughs> just, yeah, you're talking. <laughs> it's okay. I think. And I don't understand why the Chinese <laughs> use sports and spoons. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> the accidental like Beijing 911 <laughs> at fucking hypersonic speed. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The, that, that's the only way I could see Building Seven going down. Frankly, <laughs> you seen flashbacks of the fighting in the war? He's like, hey, it's your turn now. Oh, it's fuck. Your turn. Yeah, that war we had with China that one time. <laughs> China, fucking, we were talking about. <laughs> we were talking about the. Cody's history. Okay, Our never mind. Cody history. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't pass it up. We were talking about Japan first, and then he said Beijing. I was just going back to the Pacific. Okay, okay. fuck all of you. Pacific fish. Fish. <laughs> no, that like that, start uh, drinking. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, like, I don't like this. <laughs> Well, oh, what's worse is that we've discovered that Cody's a time traveler. He's like, yeah, I remember that war we had with China. No, no. Wait, what year is it? <laughs> oh, it's 22. Okay, maybe you guys weren't ready for that one, but your kids are going to love it. <laughs> John's a hero. <laughs> I just like, it's like, let's drink today. Baddie's gone. We'll just use his fucking house. I got the key. Let's have one more time. You guys good for this time? Yeah, Break of up. course. Good. Okay, yeah, for sure. I was fucking blast. I wasn't at Whataburger at three in the morning. No, no. Who was? I don't know how you guys woke up. I was like, man, they're going to bed. I probably late. woke up before you still. Yo, 100%. You woke up before me. <laughs> fuck. What time do you get up? Seven. Still? What the fuck? I get up at seven, period. Why? Like, that's a constant. The circumstances around it don't matter. Dude, that was like four hours after you get, like, rolled out like a fucking gunshot victim at an ER. Hashtag math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you wake up in time? Huh? What do you mean? You're a morning person. I'm. Yeah. Ew. Oh, you're not gonna get along with us. Oh. It's, I've noticed. <laughs> I got up at eight. For real? What? Yeah. Well, you had tea and missionary last yeah, night. Yeah, I know. Hard, <laughs> hard missionary. <laughs> I fell asleep with oh. the goddamn light on. And woke up at fucking seven to turn it off. Dude, that's my what I do. I will get pissed if I wake up and there's light on. I was like, uh, oh fuck, that's the sun. Uh, no, even worse. <laughs> that's why I have blackout blinds. Yep, best investment ever. Best thing you can. Is do. that a merch plug? <laughs> I don't start. We, we need some unsubscribe blackout <laughs> fucking curtains <laughs> for the day after unsub episode. Everyone watches is drunk apparently, or at work, or that. both. Fuck it. One or the other. That's what I used to do when no. I was a cop, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you wake up. What time did you go to bed last night? What is this new Cody life? Yeah, like? what is it? Boring, dude. I went to bed at like midnight. I woke up at eight. Drank coffee. Yeah. You work out yet? Not yet. What's, go. what's workout today with Cody? I'm just, we, I'm just bored, man. Give me your sidearm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wanted to myself when I was drinking. 
No, it's how, worse. How long until he starts doing ads for AARP? <laughs> <laughs> If you're a has been like me, you need to shine up. AARP. Heather's fallen and can't get up. <laughs> Life alert. <laughs> really wrecked your world with all that missionary. <laughs> Held that bitch's hand so good. I beat her up. <laughs> Unrelated to the sex. Unrelated. Just to- <laughs> Nothing's harder on the new world than missionary. <laughs> Turns out, like... She messed up my dinner. <laughs> being a cop, being a cop, I just never beat my wife or girlfriend because I was drinking the whole time. Now that I'm sober, I do it a lot. Sixty oh, percent. No. Oh, that was when I was drinking. I was hitting her. Okay. So it's just old old yeah, habits die hard. That one segment's gonna be cut out. It's like Twitter. I'm like no 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 no. We don't know anybody that would want to use that clip. <laughs> We're gonna be a charity stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Inside oh no. jokes, am I right? <laughs> hey, thank you for checking out Unsubscribe. Bass way better at closing this out. That's ah! it for other. <laughs> <laughs> Get AC. Let's <laughs> just say I'll, stick each other's cocks I'll, in our mouth. I'll yeah, do that works too. Shaving. All right, fuck the AC. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> get it. Sex number. What? Yeah. You don't want AC? Like the whole work dick thing. <laughs> the work dick. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it all. Seasoned. Mmm. All the the secret uh, eleven herbs and spices. God, very vinegary. <laughs> How's your opening fluck? Lanter's salted nuts. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>